Hello, my name is Teresa. I am an accountant with B&M Financial Management Services and today I will teach you how to set up your QuickBooks company file. Let's begin with creating a new company. There are two ways in QuickBooks to create a new company. The one way is to create a new company by clicking this button here under location. That will take us to the QuickBooks setup interview. Another way is to click the file button at the top new company and that will also take us to the QuickBooks setup interview. Now let's begin setting up your business. Click this express start button which will take us to a form to complete the, some information about your business. First you want to type in your company name. Then you want to type in your industry type. Your industry type is the type of industry your company represents. As you type in, you'll notice that QuickBooks will select a few, uh, some industry types for you to choose from. If your selection doesn't pop up, just click on Help Me Choose, and QuickBooks will provide you with a list of industry types for you to choose from. Once you've selected your, your industry type, click OK, and let's move down to the company type. The company type is the type of company or type of in entity your company represents. So whether you're a sole proprietor, a limited liability partnership or a partnership, a limited liability company, a corporation, or a nonprofit profit, just select which one that represents your entity. If you don't know, QuickBooks can help you choose and they will also provide you with a list of uh, entities for you to choose from and the great thing is it also has the definition of each uh, entity for to help you choose. Once you've chosen an entity or a company type, you will click OK. Now these two fields here, the tax ID and do you have employees, are not needed to complete the interviewing process, but if you have that information, let's type that information in. Let's type in our tax ID. And if you have employees, you either uh, answer yes, no, or not or no but might in the future. Once all these fields are completed we will continu click continue and then we will type in our email address, the email address that's associated with our company um, that we will be, the email address is used to send out emails, email forms, our email uh, invoices, email letters uh, to our customers so I would prefer I would re recommend that you use a company email and then click validate and now create a password and confirm your password and then type in your first name your last name QuickBooks strongly recommends that you keep this checkbox in this uh, this box here so that your company file can be retrieved or you can gain access to it either when you doing your when you uh, save your account locally your QuickBooks file locally or if you want to access it on QuickBooks online features now let's click continue and then we're going to enter in our business contact information this contact information will be used for forms that we're sending out and you want to make sure that the information that you put in here is correct because it will be printed on the on your forms that you send out to your customers so let's type in our address the city select the state that you're in The zip code must be uh, field must be completed. Your phone number must be completed in order for us to move on to the next step. Type in your email, your website. The email is defaulted from the previous information that you inputted. We're almost done, but before we click the create company file, we're going to preview our settings. Now QuickBooks has selected a couple of features that we will be using in our company pro company file. If you click on each one of these highlighted um, names, 
you will you will get a brief description of what each item uh, represents. If you click on the chart of accounts, you'll see a list of accounts that have check boxes that QuickBooks has selected for us. We can always remove and add accounts and, and create new accounts um, within our company profile. This tab, the company file location, is where our company file will be located on our computer. So we can always change the location at any time. You can change it now or you can change it at any time um, once your file is completed. So let's hit OK and let's hit create company file. QuickBooks will now begin create, generating our company file. Once your QuickBooks company file has finished running, you can now start adding information. Thank you for watching and I hope you can tune in to our next tutorial.